Ladies and gentlemen of the Natural Hair Care Jury, welcome to another Backyard Shenanigans video. Hi, I'm Healy Means. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where we judge products, not people. Join the Natural Hair Care Jury and remember to read the description box for occasional surprises and additional insight into each video. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to start by giving you just this broad overview of the aloe veras. And you can see that nearly all of them have developed the reproductive stalks. And they're not small. They are huge. And the reason why I want to show you it like this is because we have attracted honeybees, which is perfect. But your girl ain't trying to get stung neither. So we are going to take the walk, but I'm going to be going quick. So I just wanted to show this to you before I went over there. All right. Also, I'm going to try to record most of this video in landscape instead of portrait. The reason why I do it in portrait is so I can put, you know, my little text and images and stuff like that. Um... It gives me room to do that without blocking the picture. But I know, I guess, like video recording and vlog etiquette is for you to do landscape and not uh, portrait. And y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of procrastinating because I know y'all see that, that bee flying in a, in a frame. And I'm just, whew. I just watered the aloe vera so I didn't get stung then. And I think that's saying, <gasps> y'all, okay, all right, look. So check this out. Y'all see it, right? We good. You see it. Even the ones where you don't see stalks, they have stalks growing. I, I really wanna want to get y'all some close-ups, but um I do have to survive so I can do my, my next like hair videos and stuff though, right? Y'all gonna forgive me. Alright, let's go to the rest of the yard. I'm going to start from this area of the yard by the cherry trees and then work my way up because it's shady here so the picture should be a little bit better. And then as I get into the sun, either I can't see what I'm recording or the sun is directly in my eyes. So as you see, same thing from the last video, we did level out all of the mounds of dirt that we had everywhere when we were moving the trees around and replanting them we do have like a little bit of grass growing like i'm not gonna do anything else to the ground too much until it gets a little bit warmer i do want to plant some grass seeds and i had like some fertilizer if you can see kind of like these little dark areas i had like some i think it was grass fertilizer or some kind of fertilizing thing i laid down and I think that's where we got kind of like the little grass sprouting up a little bit. And even though it's cold, it did rain a lot. Um, about, let me say probably about three weeks ago, it rained on and off for about a week and a half. And so we got some grass that kind of sprouted out a little bit. That's good. But I want to go back and do some more seeding. Y'all, we had this whole area here professionally landscaped and it cost a lot and it just didn't work out and i'm pretty much gonna have to do it again from scratch so what i wanted to show you is that what we did around the trees we dug kind of like trenches or moats around and because i learned that cherry trees especially and i believe citrus trees too they don't like soggy roots we dug these little moats around and so when we water the trees, we put most of the water in the moat and then kind of sprinkle a little bit, you know, on top of the leaves. I also wanted to show you, see we're getting, uh, see if you can, you might not be able to see that, but we're getting some green growth. As you can see, maybe this one is a, a little bit better. See how you can see some green coming in, even though it's still cold, it's still winter time. This is just a sign for me, and look, we, we even got like one leaf, y'all. But this is just a sign for me that the trees are still alive, 
they still healthy and I know once it gets warmer these trees will be full of leaves moving on this is the other cherry tree and you can tell this is a different kind of cherry tree just because of how the, the branches and stuff look and same thing we dug a moat now some of them I'm gonna have to go back and redo because of the rain the ground was real wet and some of the dirt kind of like fell into the moat so I'm gonna have to better define them I'll go around and probably do that within the next couple of weeks I also had some eggshells that were supposed to be crumbled but <laughs> you see it's like whole pieces and that's just for vitamins and minerals and nutrients to help with the tree and it takes a long long time for those eggshells to degrade but as they degrade and as we water the tree and the wind blows and all of that kind of stuff the eggshells are broken down into minerals and nutrients that the trees can actually absorb this is i think this is lemon balm and y'all it just it kept growing i was supposed to dig all of this stuff up but it just kept growing and growing and it's green and it's looking good and it has a nice lemon like a light lemon scent and i just y'all i can't dig it up i just i can't do it. here is the orange tree same thing with the moat and like i said it's you can tell i just watered this like right before i recorded still have some green growing i really have high hopes for this orange tree <laughs> and we'll see what happens this summer the mini garden that i keep saying that i'm gonna dig up Yo, I'm just, I'm not going to do it. Again, I see green, I see growth, I see life, and I just, it, I just, I can't do it, y'all. So, this is where the tomato plant was. I definitely, I dug that up. So, that's gone. And then this is where the watermelon was, and that died. So, I dug that up. That's gone. But all of the, the different basils, the thymes, the lemon balms. Uh, the rosemary I'm just gonna leave it until next season when I start planting again here is the lemon tree and I think last video I um, told you that we picked all of the lemons off the tree we ate them all they were so good and juicy um, but you can see like the moat around this one is it's almost filled in so I definitely need to go back around and dig this one a little bit deeper here is our illustrious apple tree which just continues to grow and grow and grow i actually cut off the tallest branch it probably was about it was at least a foot higher than the top of this tree i just i don't want it to get too tall and and too big too fast because all of these trees, I'm going to have to train them because I don't want them to go over the fence. Um, and I don't want them to get like too tall or too big. And then that's just some flower and basil and just some other stuff that I had planted, y'all, that I'm just, I'm not, I'm going to dig it up after. Like all of that grass in between there, all of that stuff has got to go. But not today. And then our newest additions, our two avocado trees. Let me see, because I, I cannot see what I'm recording, but I also don't want my body shadow to be <laughs> in the video. So here in these uh, trenches, we dug them, you know, fairly deep. But all of them are going to have to be redone. But you can see, getting close, if you can see that. So there's growth. Um don't know yeah so you see like buds of growth the fact that they're still green uh, they're still alive and we bought these in November I think October or November and it's January so by them still being green and being alive it appears that they have taken good root this is the other avocado tree now these are two different species of avocado this is this is a Haas avocado tree, and this one, because I don't remember the name, let's see, this is a Zatano avocado tree. So, we're going to see if, if these will 
live and survive. This is where we filled in, um, where we uh, moved the first cherry tree. That's at the end. The ground is still soft here, mainly because it's been raining a lot. The, the soil has been staying wet, which is good for the trees too. But this is how the yard looks. And as it gets warmer, because today is a fairly warm day, but it's been either cold or raining. So, up. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. That probably that whole section or that whole segment of film was out of focus, but like the sun is right in the camera. Like I, I can't, I cannot see. This is the largest aloe vera plant that we have. It started off as one. Uh, this one was like the original, like mother plant. This one is the daughter plant, full grown, and I think I might even have a grandchild in here somewhere, but you can see, and this is how you really can tell, not just that the plants are healthy and stuff, but you can tell how healthy, look how thick, and I hope this is coming through, y'all, look how thick the stalks are, let me get a little bit closer. And each of these little petals, you know, has the potential of becoming an aloe vera plant. Now, it's only because we have rocks right here. And I did that on purpose because if this was just soil, this entire section, wherever there's soil, there would be a new aloe vera plant. I'm trying to keep them contained. Um, otherwise, they really would take over like the whole yard. This spring or summer, I am going to get more patio and pool furniture. This set has been with us for a very long time. I have all of my garden stuff ready to rock and roll. And of course, we still have the gym equipment and stuff out here. And like I said, it's been cold and raining, but it's going to be warming up soon, y'all. And I'm, I'm going to be getting out here because I got to. I don't think we have any casualties in the pool. I didn't see any bees floating around. I do see a lot of like the pollen and stuff from the, the aloe vera plants that's like sitting on the top of the pool. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't harm anything. No, I mean, you can get in the pool and swim in that. Unless you're allergic to aloe vera pollen, then don't, don't swim in a pool full of aloe vera pollen if you're allergic to aloe vera. Here is Mr. Robot chilling, doing his thing. He should be going to work soon, if not already. I think when I first started the video, like it was over there, so he must be moving around a little bit. He might be taking a break. Might be like a little breakfast break or something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. I can't tell you how good it feels to be outside and to do another backyard shenanigans video besides me running and hiding from the bees i think it's pretty safe out here right now we did have reports of at least one wasp <laughs> but we gonna take care of that it's not gonna deter me from getting out here and getting on these exercise machines and stuff like that y'all i i gotta do it i gotta do it but that's it for this video please remember to like comment subscribe click the notifications bell and share with everyone you know until next time bye